This is it, my friends, the final Call of Duty Zombies map, and here is my full Easter egg guide to Targ their totem. All I ask is if you found this video useful, a like would be super appreciated. If you're looking for players to do this egg with, leave your PlayStation, Xbox, or PC names below. If you need any more help or want to get to a specific step, then I'll have timestamps for everything in the description. Jumping straight into the map, we're going to have to do a few things to set the map up. The first is turning on power switches, with one being in the spawn room right in front of you as you start the game, and then opening either the left or the right side of spawn to make your way towards the lighthouse. Making your way up the stairs, you'll hear the hermit voice tell you to bring a blue rock from a cave. Open your way out the lighthouse towards the original spawn room, and in this cave, you'll see a blue rock, which will shoot, it will fall to the ground, you can pick it up, run back to the top of the lighthouse and place it on the dumbwaiter. From there, we can begin step one, which is to complete different challenges around the map. These can be found at these challenge podiums that look like this. You need to do two of those in total, but you can do any ones you want. Since this one is the closest one to the lighthouse, I always do it first. We have to complete three sets of challenges. The first one being to kill enemies with headshots and collect brains. So every time you shoot a zombie in the head, it's going to drop a brain which you have to go up to and pick up. And repeat that until you've got 25 brains collected. Head back to the totem pole, you can collect your reward and begin the next challenge. The next challenge involves killing enemies with shield bashes. If you know how to build the shield, then you can skip this part. But for those that don't, I'll give you a quick tutorial now. From spawn, just to the left of the power switch, you should see it leaning up against a boat. If it's not there, it can be on this oil canister here. If it's not here, make your way up this little mound on the left side and it should be there on that cardboard. The window part, you want to open the debris to the left of spawn, hop up this parkour section, and it should be leaning against these rocks here. If not, hop on the adjacent platform, and next to the mystery box location, it can be there. If not there, head to this pack-a-punch location, and it should be just kneeling there within the grass. And our final part can be in the lighthouse. The first area is level 1, just posted up against the wall here. Next location is on level 2, just by this wall here on this rag. Last spot is lighthouse level 3, just perched near the staircase. Take it to the nearest buildable bench, which is the lighthouse, and you can begin the shield bash challenge. Once you've completed that, claim your reward and the last challenge involves taking pea jars from the top of the lighthouse to the beach. To find them to the left of the wall bar you need to pick them up and take them to the beach without sprinting, jumping or shooting. The best way I've done this is go down to lighthouse level 2, simply walk out there, walk down through the cave and then in the beach water simply hold your interact button to empty the jar. If you hear a glass jar shatter sound that means the pea jar is shattered and you have to go back and grab another one. After repeating that three times you've completed that and you'll get a free self revive. Next podium we'll do is in the beach. The first challenge to kill enemies with snowballs. These snowballs can be found in every area all around the map. These are going to be very important as any fire zombies you see you need to kill them with snowballs as we'll need that to make dynamite bombs. Just keep aware of that throughout your time playing the games. If you ever see fire zombies make sure to throw snowballs at them to kill them and make sure to pick up the parts for dynamite. Next challenge is kill enemies with the lighthouse trap. You can activate that trap in the beach or by the spawn. The last challenge is to complete SOS messages and to do that you have to throw snowballs at the gaps in the SOS. One location for that can be found on the beach. It's right in front of the challenge podium and you just throw snowballs in the gaps in the letters and if done correctly you'll see the snowball stick into the word and you'll see a one of three completion. Next SOS is in front of the lighthouse and the last is at the back of the boat where you'll need to access the sunken path. This is an area by the brew perk machine and you need to create dynamite and blow up the debris so that you can access this area. Once complete redeem your reward head back to the lighthouse and after completing two challenge podiums the hermit should now give us some dials when you approach him. Pick those up and we're going to take them to the cargo hold. Just before we do that, we still need to open up more of the map and get the final power switch on. In order for us to do that, we're going to have to activate the zip lines to the lighthouse from the front and back of the boat. To do this, we need to find two cranks to place them on either end of the boat. First crank is in the stern, which is the front of the boat, and you can find it perched up there on the side of the boat. If it's not there, go round the corner past the perk machine, and it should be here on the side by the snow pile. If it's not there, go inside this actual hut, and by this window, it should be lying there on the ground. Our second one's located in the forecastle, which can be right here. If it's not there, then do not worry. If you walk past the auger wall by, it can be placed up here. If it's not there, simply go behind where we just picked that piece up and it should be lying to the left of the mystery box location. Take your crank to this location here on the main deck and keep holding your interact to rotate the zip line into position. Then head up to the sun deck and place the crank there and rotate the zip line into position there. And after that, head into the lighthouse and the hermit will give you a zip line handle, which will give you access to the zip line to the facility. And from there, you can open the various doors to make your way to the bottom to turn on the power. By turning on this power, we gain access to the golden pack-a-punch. Before we can access that, we need to go to the flinger on the boat and pick up this broken gearbox. Take it to the hermit, he will then repair it, bring it back to us, we can pick it up and place it back on the flinger. That is an important step, otherwise we can't get to golden pack, but anyway, let's get back to the dials. Open to artifact storage, I'm going to be placing these dials in four boxes on the wall. Two on the wall where the perk machine is on, and two facing opposite. Hold your interact button and it should place these four dials in, all different 
colors. One dial at a time go up to each dial and keep spinning it until it dings on a number. If it dings, that color's correct and you can move on to the next one. Once all four ding, the apothecan blood will start talking. I highly advise you turn subtitles on for this part, but it mentions you need to find three offerings and the final sentence will be a clue to where you'll find this offering. Now there are at least a dozen if not more of these, so if you open up the description I'll have every single possible sentence the apothecan blood can say and the location where you can find its offering. I've got quite a lot in this video, but I know I don't have all of them. But during this step, you're going to have to find three separate objects. So here's what I got in this particular game, and then I'll show you some more locations. So starting with the first one here, Ofna, where fire sinks. This is located on the sunken path next to a lantern, and you can see it there as a bone. Next one is Ofna, where fools freeze. This can be found in the water of the cargo hold. It's a fish. Simply hold your interact to pick it up. Lastly, I had Shobazor, where power ends. It was right next to the power switch in the facility. It's a location for North is Found, which is the second power switch top of the boat. This is the location for where Helix's peak, which is right on the P jars at the top of the lighthouse. It's a location where Whale Filth cleanses, which is the decontamination and facility. And it's in this corner with the lockers. And this is a location for where lungs close. It's between Lighthouse Cove and Lagoon in this water section. Just hold your interact while you're swimming in it and you should pick it up. Now, if none of these appear in your game, do not worry. Simply open the description, look for the clue the Apothecan gave you, and it will show you the location on where to find this item. Once you've found three of these items, the Apothecan Blood will tell you to seek the Seal of Duality. Now again, pay attention to the clue it gives you as that's where we're going to find it. Now again, if your clue isn't in this video, simply open up the description. But in my game, I had Seek the Seal of Duality where Ether was gathered. This location correlates to the geological processing in facility. It's this board here. You simply melee it. It will reveal a safe and you'll now want to attach a dynamite bomb. So if you haven't already got one, you again need to throw snowballs at fire zombies to collect three parts and build it at a buildable bench, blow up the safe to reveal the seal of duality and pick it up. If it says to find it where cages hang, this is going to be a poster board in the boathouse near spawn. Just melee the poster, place the dynamite down, it will blow up the safe revealing the seal of duality. Now if it's neither of those two, again open up the description, but the clue for an icy hall will be to knife a drawing at the bottom of the slide. The clue for where humans suffer is on an atomical painting on the wall in specimen storage in facility. If you don't have dynamite built at this part, you are just going to have to push through rounds until you get fire zombies that will drop the parts from being killed with snowballs. And if you're dumb like me and pushed seven rounds because you had no fire zombies, that's because a fire zombie has dropped a part which you have not picked up yet. Just keep that in mind, but once you've opened the safe, grab the seal of duality, we can begin. Place down the artifact in the artifact storage and it's going to spawn a red orb floating around the room. You want to shoot this red orb until it releases a yellow orb. We shoot out into a direction somewhere on the map. What we have to do is locate where that orb is. Now, there are many spawns for it, but if you watch the direction in which it travels, you should have no trouble finding it. It's going to be a big yellow orb similar to the Gersh orb from Black Ops 3 Gorod Krovi and your aim is to find it, not get too close to it, but throw a snowball at it to turn it blue and then shoot it to send it back towards the artifact storage room. In my game, I found it at the bottom of the slide, so I simply threw a snowball at it, it turns blue, I shoot it with a gun, it flies towards the artifact room. From there, the yellow orb will be in that room, you need to throw a snowball at it again and then shoot it to send it into the seal of duality. Once that orb's in the seal, you then need to shoot the red orb again, enough times for it to let out another yellow orb somewhere on the map. For me, it travelled straight up in the air towards facility, so I zip lined over, I found it and threw a snowball at it, and then all you need to do is shoot it. Now, warning during this step, you are going to have infinite spawning zombies, and you will gain no points. And if you spend long enough on this, then it will press to the next round, and when you get near to the end of that next round, it will become an infinite wave again. Once you've found the orb, you've made it blue, you shot it with a gun, make your way over to the artifact room, throw a snowball at the yellow orb and shoot it again and that will confirm the second one. If you've done this correctly, the Apothecan Blood will now say now retrieve what we have lost. And this time I believe you don't have to shoot the red orb, spawn a third yellow orb as that quote initiates it. Just in case, shoot the red orb until it shoots out a yellow orb and for me I found that in front of the lighthouse so I threw a snowball at it, shot it, go onto the artifact room, throw a snowball at it to turn it blue, shoot it again and you'll hear a quote from Nikolai and you'll be able to pick up the seal of duality. But to finish this step we are going to need the Samantha music box. If you know how to do it, then that's fine. But if not, I'll give you a brief tutorial here. Make your way over to the facility and in decontamination, we're looking for a punch card in this room. There could be one in this washing machine. If it's not there, then it can be in the sink, which it is here. This is what it looks like. You simply pick it up. You'll get a character quote about a punch card and we can move on. But if it's not there, then go ahead and look at this sink to the left of the perk machine. And the second punch card we're gonna need to find is in specimen storage. The first location can be on these shelves right here. If it's not there, then go into this jail cell and in the actual toilet, 
toilet, you will notice the punch card there, which it is there for me. And if it's not there, then make your way over to these Element 115 jars and you'll notice on the bottom shelf, it should be there. So you've got both punch cards, make your way into the security lobby and put them into this computer machine here. Wait a few seconds and then both punch cards will rise out of the machine, which you can then pick up. And now in Human Infusion, place the punch cards either side of this vault door and then hold your interact on the vault door and it's going to start a lockdown sequence. And once completed, you'll have the Samantha music box, which will replace your grenades. And don't worry, on solo, if you pick up snowballs, once you run out of snowballs, you'll go back to your Samantha boxes. And if you get monkey bombs out the box and want the Samantha box back, because you're going to need it, you can just come straight back to this vault and you can pick them back up. So with the Seal of Duality and the Samantha music box, you want to place it on the campfire here in the sunken path and throw a Samantha box at it and it should turn the campfire blue, where you'll hear a lovely message from the Ultimus and Primus crew from the forest. Once it's over, you can pick up the vessel and we can begin the next step, which is knowledge itself is for the taking. Make your way up to the top of the lighthouse and the hermit is going to give you some soapstones. And we're going to need to place these in two different traps. The first one being the one by the boathouse. There's a section on the ground here you want to hold your interact to place the soapstones down on and then you're going to want to buy the trap to heat them up. I rushed through this just because on solo the spawns were so hectic at this point, but I turned the trap on and just ran back to spawn to train the zombies up while the laser just burns the soapstones. And once it's done, simply make your way over and you'll notice the soapstones will be on fire. Make your way to the human infusion and at this panel, simply hold your interact to place that fiery soapstone onto the machine. Now what you want to do is in decontamination, place your soapstone down here and by this trap and it should cool down the soapstone. Just give it a minute so the trap completely finishes and then you'll be able to pick up the soapstone. You can place it on the other side of where you place the other soapstone and you should be able to pick up the fuse which is in the middle. With that fuse, make your way to the OG Call of the Dead door easter egg and place the fuse in there. You'll then be given the quote that the power fuse needs charging and to seek power sources. And this is an annoying step because you'll now need to have the Wonder Waffer in your possession. And you can get this out of the mystery box by pure luck there is a way to get a free wonder off every single game and it is so simple in order to do this we're going to need to find an icicle its first location is right above this cave entrance just shoot it down second location is then atop the lighthouse just by this broken railing and the third and final location can be on the edge of the stairs when looking upwards from the lighthouse cove once you found the icicle shoot it so it falls in the map then take it back to the pot and place it in where you can slowly watch it melt once it's fully melted it will reveal a key and we're going to need to go to the facility and specifically to a safe and specimen storage what will have the Vril device inside. From there you need to get around about 10 or so kills before it's filled. And simply pick it up, take it to the Hermit and he'll give you a key. Simply turn around and open the box to the right and inside should be a Wonder Waffer waiting for you. No reason why you can't do that every single game, it is so easy. Once you have the Wonder Waffer, make your way over to the facility and the moment you drop from the zip line, you want to aim in with your Wonder Waffer scope and you're going to be shooting this battery on the pylon. Shot correctly, all the power lines should now be lit up which is great and now what we need to do is go to the opposite side of facility outside simply aim up again at the sparking red battery and that's going to give us a quote from Nikolai who mentions that there's partial charge we need to find another way to generate more power we're gonna need to kill an electrical zombie at three different places around the map the first is the mx9 wall by where you can notice an electrical generator behind it simply kill an electric zombie when it gets near and you'll notice the generator will start sparking with electricity and that's done we can move on to the next one which is going to be on the light lighthouse station right here you simply again just want to kill an electric zombie when it's near it to electrocute it and get it powered up our final spot is in the boathouse section by the lighthouse trap right here you simply want to just kill an electric zombie and you should get a quote from Nikolai that mentions that the power fuse has full charge from there make your way back to the OG call of the dead easter egg door where you'll be able to pick up the fuse and the door's going to reveal the elemental shard pick it up and we can move on to the next step where you need to go back to the apothecan artifact and I'll mention that they're ready to give more. So we're going to have to repeat the red orb step again by shooting that red orb until it releases a yellow orb. So just like the last step, we're going to have to repeat this three times to find three different orbs. For me, I found it again in facility, threw a snowball at it, shot it, then in the artifact storage room, threw a snowball at it again, shot it, and that went into the artifact. Just spray the red orb again, it's going to bring out another yellow orb. For me, that was outside of the lighthouse again. The same process, brought it to the artifact, and threw a snowball at it again, shot it so it was confirmed, spray the red orb again 
to get it to spawn another orb somewhere else. For this final orb, you'll get a quote saying to retrieve our brothers and merge them with the device. For me, I found it in the spawn. Once you've sent that orb into the device, you can then pick it up. We're going to place it on the campfire and throw a Samantha music box at it once again. Once that's completed, pick up the device and take it to the hermit in the lighthouse. But I must warn you, once you commence this sequence, you will be unable to pack a punch for the rest of the game. So if your guns aren't quite beefy enough yet, definitely power through a few rounds, make the use of the golden pack a punch if you can. And once everyone's ready, hold your interact to give the seal of duality. This is going to start a lockdown sequence within the lighthouse. It's obviously going to spawn infinite zombies, but on solo and even in co-op, if every player is just training in one of the lighthouse levels, you don't need to kill any zombies whatsoever. And if you start this with one zombie left in the round, then only that zombie will be on the map. Once completed, he will hand you back the device and you'll need to power it up further. To do this, you need to look at where the lighthouse is pointing to as it's pointing to a pack a punch location and you need to put the seal of duality into the pack a punch. Once it's in there, you're going to be killing zombies near the pack a punch to collect their souls and power the vessel up. I'm going to be repeating this four times in total for the four different pack a punch locations that are on the map, which are the beach, the lagoon, the sunken path, and the boathouse. Once all four are completed, make your way in the artifact storage room, place the vessel down, and the apothecum blood will say it is time. We have the orb step to do one more time, but this time it is a bit different. This last and final one, we simply need to shoot the red orb in that room until it lets out a yellow orb. The yellow orb isn't actually going to travel across the map, it's going to stay in that room, which is really nice. Now the red orb takes a lot of damage in order for it to release the yellow orb, and the speed in which the red orb travels around that room gets faster and faster as you get into it. Make sure you're using some strong guns on this, otherwise it's going to take you a while. My best strat for this is training up the infinite zombie spawns in the sunken path and just shooting it in that little crevice. It's the same as always, shooting the red orb until it releases a yellow orb, the yellow orb will be in that room, it won't travel outside of it, simply throw a snowball at it to turn it blue, shoot it to place it in the seal of duality, and repeat this three times. You should get a quote saying light and darkness reunite, the duality is resolved. Pick it up, place it on the campfire, and throw a Samantha box at the campfire. After their message, we are on to the final step. Make sure you are absolutely prepared with all of your perks and a brand new shield. Have all players stand on the mini flinger towards the golden pack a punch, where we're going to need to fill that machine up with souls by inserting the seal of duality. Once it is completed, the seal is going to float up in the air and transform the map into a hellish lava infested wasteland. From here, we play a game of don't touch the lava. Lava. You're going to be inside a massive bubble, and if you are ever outside of the bubble, you're going to start inflicting damage. You're going to get flung off the island into the bubble on the forecastle, and every so often, the bubble is going to stop moving and require you to collect souls. The first time this happens is going to be at the end of the forecastle, and this is pretty nerve wracking, I'm not going to lie to you. Megas are definitely not a necessary requirement in this Easter egg whatsoever, but it will definitely help you out, especially on solo in situations like like this. Once it is done, it's going to start moving through the bottom of the boat towards artifact storage, and that's when you're going to start to see lava. You're also going to see rocks slowly forming out of the lava, and that's going to be stepping stones that you are going to need to use to traverse around the land, avoiding the lava. If you fall in the lava, you are going to take significant damage, and it's going to be very difficult for you to recover, especially if you're on solo. It's going to take us along the sunken path back towards the lagoon, and then drop in front of the lighthouse where it's going to be another soul box. Best advice is to just train round in a massive circle in here. When completed, you'll have a carpenter and a max ammo drop, and it's going to be working its way further now, moving towards the cargo hold and then towards the OG spawn, the beach along the hidden path. You're going to have to drop down and following it along to get back onto normal land on the beach, or it will take you along inside the cave towards the lighthouse, where we're going to have another soul box. If you built the shield here, very important to pick up a fresh one. Once the soul box is completed, make your way up through lighthouse level three up towards the zip line where you're going to be taking the zip line towards the facility. From there, you'll then need to follow the bubble as it makes its way through the decontamination and then into the human infusion where you're going to have one final lockdown. You're going to have some epic rock music playing and the bubble is going to be slowly but surely getting smaller and smaller. And soon it will disappear with one final message from Ultimus and Primus. Then be able to claim the Agatha 
some device and you'll want to take it back to the lighthouse. The hermit will tell you to go to the ship and wait for him. I would be very careful using the zip line from the top to cargo hold because there is lava and there's a good chance that you might go down. So maybe take an alternative route just to be safe. You'll see something crazy happen in the lighthouse and then the Ogarfen device will be waiting at the end of the boat. And by interacting with that, you've completed the Easter egg. I seriously hope you guys found this guide useful. It took me hours and hours to make and obviously a ton of time in game live streaming to achieve this for you all. But hopefully this was concrete. If you found this useful whatsoever, a like would be super appreciated and you can check out the full Easter egg ending down below in the description, as well as various other videos on targeted toting, including the secret trophy, among many other things. But thank you for watching guys. Feel free to subscribe for more zombies videos. I'll catch you next time.